wasn't uh, his sharpest, but the pitches that were hit out didn't seem like they were that. No, I mean, uh, some uh, a couple. One was elevated, the other one to Jones was down, breaking ball down and underneath, kind of stayed with it, um, kind of golfed it a little bit. But uh, he kept, you know, working. I thought, to be honest, once we got through the second inning, he was already up to like 48 or 49 pitches. We were starting to get a little concerned. <clears throat> and then he started cleaning it up a little bit and took us as far as he could. Uh, I thought he did a nice job of recovering. Um, and kept us in the ball game, and that's his experience. Even though he wasn't as sharp, he still kept, you know, trying to attack the zone. And uh, I think his command wasn't as good as he wanted it to be today. When you look at a game like that, is it, you kind of see it as a outlier, a one-time kind of thing with him, basically. With him? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think those are. I don't think those are very rare. I think. Uh, and watching him uh, pitch last year, and, and obviously you guys have seen him more previous to me seeing him. Uh, he's been pretty good, pretty consistent. So. You know, just chalk it up to a, an odd, an anomaly, and uh, we expect that when he gets back out there again, he'll be his, his normal self. Do you think that waiting the extra day could have um, made him a little I, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think today he just didn't command the, the, the strike zone as well as he wanted to. Um, like I said, I think he left some pitches elevated and probably on a couple of hitters he wanted to get in, probably left it a little too, too caught too much of the plate. And so they were able to, you know, do some damage with it. But um, all in all, I thought again he he kept us in the ball game. The the, the homer got us a little bit for for them. As far as uh, as far as we're concerned, you know, we ended up you know kind of pushing a little bit. The relief all came in, did a nice job. Uh, got some ground balls. Uh, uh, we had a couple of missed cues today. Um, nice pickoff at second base. Offensively, uh, a couple guys had some some rough games, but other than that, I think we kept battling and put ourselves in a position uh, at the end there to kind of be able to close it out. I mean, for us to to go out there and all of a sudden they have to bring in their closer, it's pretty good. Reggie, what made Verlander so efficient today? Why? Well, again, he's he's pounding the zone and then he was elevating as he does. You know, he gets his strikeouts going just above. You know, you see that your eye level and. Uh, it's kind of hard to lay off, and we had a lot of guys that had a tough time laying it off of that pitch. Even though you talk about it and you go over it, it's still one of those things where you're, you're facing an ace. He is an ace, and uh, he did what he, he normally does. He attacks the zone, and then he ends up making you chase up out of the zone. Rick, uh, spring training at bats to opening day at bats. Yeah. How, how much of an adjustment is that? Uh, I don't know that. <clears throat> I don't know that it's much because you're still. You're still doing the same thing. You're still trying to uh, get a pitch that you can handle, and you're still trying to put yourself in a situation with two strikes to try to control the strike zone a little bit better. Uh, today was uh, one of those days where you saw a, a veteran pitcher kind of exploit uh, some things, but I think we can walk away from that with a little bit more knowledge, a little bit more experience. Um, I think guys are excited to start the season, uh, and so. I would just chalk it up just to uh, uh, a guy that did his job very well today, and uh, we weren't able to kind of recover until toward you know toward the end when we started getting into their bullpen a little bit.